Sherry, what you did last night by talking to the press caused citywide panic. Do you understand that? What this investigation does not need is a city full of people arming themselves, holding up, and not talking to the police. John, Sherry didn't mean any harm. She was taken by surprise by that newswoman. Weren't you, Sherry? I don't care. The result is that the city is in a panic. The mayor is up in arms, and the press is having a field day with this investigation and the department. I'm really, really sorry, Detective Carey. I thought maybe they are from Star Search, or maybe Entertainment Tonight. Honest, Detective Carey, I didn't mean to cause any trouble. I wouldn't hurt a fly, even if it was flying around and like, you know, buzzing in my ear. Honest. John, how can you be mad at a girl like that? Sam, do you have DNA results back on the bone found in Griffith Park? I haven't received the results from SID, but from my years of experience, I have to say that the bone is definitely human. Given the measurements of both the bone and the body found at the park, they're a match. Has autopsy occurred on John Doe 7216M? Yes, John, it was first this morning. The gastrointestinal tract was ruptured, as I suspected, and also, as I suspected, there was no asphyxiation. The nylons wrapped around the neck were in no way connected to the cause of death. It looks like poisoning. Fluids were taken and sent out. Has identification taken place on the John Doe? No. We've sent the prints out for a national search. There must be someone, somewhere, missing a father, brother, or husband. Is there any preliminary report on the fluids? No, John. They only went out this morning. However, I am not hopeful for a match. You know, John, there are thousands of poisonous substances out there. Many have yet to be identified and cataloged by the scientific community. It's like hunting for a needle in a haystack. Sam, has the autopsy been performed on Jane Doe 1202L? The body is being prepped as we speak. I'll be getting started soon. Sam, has anyone identified or claimed Jane Doe 1202L? No, John. I have sent a copy of the fingerprints out for a national search. So far, no response. Hello, Russell. Hey, saw Sherry on the news last night. Well, she's really a nice girl, Detective. I'm sure she didn't mean anything by it. How do you tell if Sam's had garlic for lunch? I don't know. The corpses get up and run! <laughs> What do you call two guys with no arms and no legs hanging in a window? I don't know. Curtain Rod! <laughs> See ya, the. I'm really sorry about the newswoman, Detective Carey. Sure. Next time, just keep quiet. Don't talk to those people. They'll twist your words around, make your life miserable. Got it?
You attach your Parker Center You press the button to call the elevator. You select the basement as your destination. If you want to talk to Chester, Hello, Detective. How can I help you? Hello, Chester. Were you able to find anything out about the glue you sampled? Yes, Detective. It is an industrial strength glue which shares properties with the glue found on Hickman's eyes. The problem with tracing the glue is that it's sold all over the city, not just where you found it. We use the same brand here at Parker Center. Chester, I wanted a DNA run on the bone I turned into Nobles. What do you have back? Nothing yet, Carrie. And not to criticize, but you really should have turned that into property. You're right, Chester. However, I also need to find myself a killer. Chester, what do you have on John Doe 7216M? Body fluids have been sent over, but thus far, nothing on toxicology. How about Jane Doe 1202L? What do you have, Chester? We haven't received the body fluids from the morgue yet. We're limited on what we can do here, Detective. Unfortunately, we haven't heard back from Quantico on the other samples either. We're at a dead end. The vehicle the victims were found in, Chester. What did you find? Their body fluids, their hair, their fingerprints, and red fibers. Other than that, the car was very clean. Too clean. Nothing in the glove box, under the seats, anywhere. Chester, how about Jane Doe 1201K? Anything come back on her? How about fingerprints? Well, she does have fingerprints. They just don't match anything we have out there for missing people. See you later, Detective Carey. Pressing the button, you call the elevator. You select the third floor as your destination. You take a 3.14 follow-up report form out of your desk drawer. Your action is unwarranted. You fill out follow -up. Here you go, Hal. You are, Junior. Yeah? I'm glad you're here, Carrie. 
I wanted to talk to you about your newest TV appearance. That stunt in front of the coroner's last night was splashed all over the evening news. Obstructing the First Amendment is what they're calling it. I'll have you know I've already fielded calls from national news bureaus, the mayor, hell, just about anyone in this town who's anybody is called. Gary, you're gonna need to learn to control that temper. I've just about had it with this cowboy crap. Now this is a directive. You learn to work with the press, not against them. Do you understand me? Read my lips. Work with them. Lieutenant, it's not my fault. I mean, it's that reporter. She's always stirring things up. She's making my job impossible. Look, Carrie, it's a reporter's job to report the news. Sometimes that means going after the truth, other times not. What I want to know is, is there any truth to this killer being a woman? No? You sure? Believe me, Carrie, I trust you. It's just I gotta be sure. I'm the one fielding the calls. Yes, sir. All right, then, we know what we're dealing with. Most probably a white male, aged 24 to 36 years of age, and somebody awfully vicious and brutal. Watch yourself, Carrie. We don't want to lose another one. Lieutenant. I don't have all day. Get on out of here and back on those streets. You call the elevator. You select the lobby as your... Well, tell him McGarrett said, book him, Dano. <laughs> He'll know what it means. <laughs> hey, you whippersnapper. Can I help you? Uh, Dano? McGarrett told me to tell you to book him, Dano. He, he said... Looking at the license plate, you discover County E 2BSY669. Well, once again, you've been very helpful. Thank you. Hey, that's a big ten!
Getting run over wouldn't be. You attach You press the button to call the elevator. You select the third floor as your destination. Well, if it ain't the boy wonder. Hal, how are you? What's going on? My hemorrhoids are acting up, kid. Big flare up, big flare. Damn job. You were just. You call the elevator. You select the lock. Detective John Carroll. Double doors leading to the LA County Social Services office. You open the door to social services. May I help you, sir? Hello, I'm Detective John Carey, Homicide LAPD. I'd like to speak with the person in charge, please. I'm sorry, Detective. Our manager is out for the week. I'm Nora Bittridge. May I help you? 
Nora, a car registered to social services has wound up in impound. Its license number is County 2BSY669. Can you tell me whom it's assigned to, please? Yes, detective. Just let me look that up. Why, that car is assigned to one of our social workers, a Miss Luella Parker. May I speak to Miss Parker, please? Well, I'm afraid Luella is not in, detective. Is she out on a client call? No, actually, we don't know where she is. The last time we saw her was Monday, midday. I've tried calling her home, but I get no answer. Does Miss Parker have family we might contact? Well, I don't believe so, at least not out in California. I think she's alone out here from Chicago. Nora, do you think you could give me a physical description of Miss Parker? Why, yes. I pride myself on my observation skills. Let's see. Luella is 34 years old. She stands approximately 5 feet 5 inches tall and is overweight, so I would say she weighs around 160 pounds. Nora, what color eyes and hair does Luella have? Why, black hair and brown eyes, detective. Luella is black. African-American. Nora, I'd like to look over Luella's office, please. Why, of course, detective. If you'll follow me, I'll escort you back to her office. I'll be at my desk, detective, if you need anything. They appear to be cap- The calendar is turned to last Monday's date. There are no appointments listed. The message log is blank. County approved desk blotter. It's an audio tape with a receipt tape to it. It's the latest release from Yo Money. The attached receipt is marked Raging Records. Case number 18908B, Barbie Can. Case number 14434-0, Mitchell Thurman. Case number 189, case number 1... What do you know about Luella's social life? Does she have a lot of friends? Does she go out after work? Luella's personal life is just that. Personal. But as far as I can tell, her work is her life. She is very devoted to her job and her clients. What? What about boyfriends, Nora? Does Luella have one, or maybe several? I wouldn't know anything about that. I conduct myself in a professional manner and have a strict rule about discussing other people's personal lives. What can you tell me about Luella's clients or the type of cases she works on? Luella is assigned clients through the county. She's a family counselor, so she deals with a lot of child custody, abused children, juvenile crime cases, that sort of thing. Nora, what is a typical workday for Luella? Is she mostly in the office seeing clients? No, Luella's work takes her out into the field a lot. She has clients who are homebound due to illness or she needs to examine the environment in which a person lives. She really splits her time half field, half office. Nora, do you know of any personal or professional problems Luella might be experiencing? No, Luella is a private person and she keeps to herself but I haven't noticed anything unusual in her behavior lately. Detective, Luella is hardworking and probably overworked. She does a lot of field work on her own time to compensate for the county's lack of funds to hire additional staff. Nora, what would these files be? If you found them on Luella's desk, they would be her current cases. Nora, how does the numbering system work on these case files? What do O and B stand for? The county adds letters for category distinction. B would stand for cases dealing with children, such as child custody, and O stands for borderline cases. 
What do child custody cases involve, Nora? A custody battle could involve negligent child support, child abuse, an unfit environment for the child. Detective, when it comes to children, the system attempts to be very protective. Nora, explain the definition borderline to me. How would that apply to a client? Borderline means it's a case that has been referred to us through another agency. Generally, this client would have received some sort of assistance and the agency dealing with them felt they needed more help. Nora, what can you tell me about Barbie Can? Well, I do know she's a client of Luella's. I don't know any particulars. The cases are confidential. Nora, do you know when Luella last spoke to Miss Barbie Can? Well, I don't remember the last time Luella called her, but I do remember getting a call last week from Miss Can asking to speak to Luella. I remember because it was hard to hear her. There was very loud music playing in the background. Nora, are you familiar with Luella's client, Mr. Mitchell Thurman? Yes. Yes, I am. I know I shouldn't say this, it's unprofessional of me, but Mr. Thurman is odd. He had a very disturbing childhood, found his own mother murdered and his father was abusive, but many people recover. I gather you don't believe Mr. Thurman has recovered. Nora, do you remember when you last spoke to Mr. Thurman? Yes, I do. Yes. It was this last Monday, and I distinctly remember because he said he had to talk to Luella. He had the Monday blues. Nora, are you familiar? I guess yes, I... Does this look like a cassette player? Does this... A woman by the name of Luella Parker purchased an audio tape of Yo Money's music from this store. Does her name sound familiar? Nope. Lots of people come through here. Lots of people buy stuff, bring it back. I got stuff coming and going all day long. This Yo Money tape was found on the desk of Luella Parker, a victim in a homicide case I'm investigating. Your store's receipt was taped to the cassette. Store policy is exchange only, no cash back. Dude, Yo Money doesn't sell so great here. Your option is to choose something from inside the counter. What about the tape? Look, dude, it's exchange only, store policy. Take a look in the case and see what you want. 8-track tapes, drumsticks... Drumsticks? A glass dis... It's your... A glass dis... What about the tape? Look, dude, it's ex... What about the... A glass... Walk this way. Walk this... This place. Push the door. Why, hello there, darling. Hello, Barbie. How are you today? Ah, darling, welcome back. Didn't see enough yesterday. 
It's true, my girls are beautiful, aren't they? Oh, but darling, you have trouble, no? How is that investigation of yours going? What you need is a little understanding. Tell Barbie where it hurts. Ah, darling, welcome back. Didn't... Barbie, do you know a woman by the name of Luella Parker? Well, yes, darling. It's a personal matter. Why? Is Miss Parker in trouble? Barbie, Luella Parker is dead. Her body was found in Griffith Park. Her murder is consistent with the two police officers. Barbie, can you tell me when you last saw Luella and if she might have said something, anything that might, in light of her death, seem important? Oh, that poor darling. She was a lovely girl. I think it was last week. Yes, last week I saw her. She was supposed to stop in this week, Tuesday, but she did not come by. Miss Parker was helping me with a personal matter. She was to deliver some papers to me. I do not recall she said anything or acted in any way peculiar. You know, darling, she was a shy girl. Oh, that poor darling. She was a lovely girl. I think it was last week, yes. Last week I saw her. She was supposed to stop in this week, Tuesday, but she did not come by. Miss Parker was helping me with a personal matter. She was to deliver some papers to me. I do not recall she said anything or acted in any way peculiar. You know, darling, she was a shy girl. Barbie, Luella's death is a serious matter. It's important you tell me what you know. Let's start with what she was helping you with and what information she was to drop off. Darling, it is nothing sinister. Miss Parker was helping me to win custody of my daughter. Miss Parker was delivering the results from my daughter's talks with the psychiatric doctor. You know, darling, to find out if I poisoned her mind with naked thoughts. It would seem my soon-to-be ex-husband has suddenly taken a dislike to my occupation. Barbie, bitter divorce cases can result in some pretty horrific actions. Tell me about your husband. Is he capable of violence? What about his work? Has he been laid off? Or his health? Any added stress can sometimes push a person over the edge. Oh, darling, my husband is an ass, and he is also a police officer. It is best that I do not discuss him. Barbie, if my investigation progresses in your direction, I'm going to need to know your husband's name, his division. For now, today, I'll let it go, Barbie. But the minute anything points in your direction, I'll be back. You know, Barbie, cops aren't immune to trouble. You wouldn't protect him, would you? Oh, my heavens, no, darling. If he was too lazy to satisfy me, darling, he is much too lazy to have hurt Miss Parker. If you hear anything from your ex, or if you think of anything that could help, please call me at Parker Center. Just ask for Robbery Homicide Detective Carey. Okay, Barbie? I know how to reach you, darling, and I will help if I can. Darling, you need to relax. Maybe come see my act some evening. It would do you good. Barbie's body language always makes a man feel good. I appreciate the offer, Barbie. Thanks for your time. Oh, darling, any time. You'll need to get Welcome to the Third Eye Theater. May, may I help you? 
Detective Carey, LAPD. I, I know y you. I've seen you on t television. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Yes, please come in. I enter to the left. Uh, how m m may I help you? Mitchell, I'd like to ask you a few questions, if that's all right. Yes, of, of, of co course. Mitchell, have you ever met or do you know a police officer by the name of Rene Garcia? No, 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 I, 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 I don't, I don't. Mitchell, have you ever been arrested or had a run-in with the law? No, really, no, 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 never. P -p -p Please, look around. I, I have n -n -n nothing to hide. I didn't think you did, sir. Mitchell, do you recall having a uniformed police officer as a customer this week, possibly on Monday or Tuesday? N no, n no. Mitchell, do you know someone by the name of Luella Parker? Uh, oh, it's it's t t terrible what happened. I I it, oh, it was wrong. Oh. Mitchell, is there something you know that you haven't told me? Something about Luella? She was so lovely about it. Oh, she was so lovely. It was so so sad. Mitchell, what is so sad? Why don't you calm down and slowly tell me what happened? Hey, Mitchell, real slow and easy. My, my, my dog, it, it, it's horrible. It, it's horrible what, what they s s said. What about your dog, Mitchell? Did your dog hurt someone? Did your dog hurt Luella? Is that what happened, Mitchell? You can tell me. It's all right. No, no. They said, my, my neighbor said that I hurt my dog, but, but that, that I didn't feed him. Well, it came to, to, to help me, to, to, to tell them the truth. Mitchell, what is the truth? Can you tell me the truth, Mitchell? My dog is n naturally thin. I, I feed him. I, I do. A, a lot. Big, juicy bones. Mitchell, when was the last time you spoke to Luella? Do you remember? M maybe a, a, a couple of weeks ago. Why are you asking so many c c questions? Has something happened to L Luella? Luella was found murdered, Mitchell. I'm looking for the person who killed her. Oh, oh my! Oh my! It, it, it's horrible. All this crying has, has made me thirsty. Uh, how about you? W would you like s something to drink? P please, uh, have a c c cup of tea uh, on the ho house. The tea is refreshing, if not a little bitter. D -d -d don't you feel feel better? I, I know I do. Uh, how about a movie on the house? Everybody deserves a treat once in a while. Don't you... Uh -huh. Knocking on the door, you receive no... This dress doesn't belong to you. Besides, when did you start cross... Detective John Carey. A long red evening gown hangs in the women's restroom stall. Uh, how about a movie... Careful where you touch. You don't want to go down. Uh.
Wake, wake up. You, 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 you fell asleep. It's, it's, it's time to go. Now, now, now. Go. Please, leave now. Please go. I, I, I have to get ready for the n n next show. You, you're falling asleep. You let me behind my schedule. You push the door. Never know. You apply. You glue the stick to the mirror. Using the putty. The door is up. The door is up. There is no one in sight. The coast appears clear. You push the door open. The gruesome details of this job are sometimes overwhelming, eh, Detective? Detective, don't take the evidence. Detective John Carey. This is no time to... This living room looks like it stepped out of a night... Detect... It's a... It's an original... This li... This... Li Detect... Here you go, boy. Good dog.
you open the closet doors. You adjust. You open the closet. The closet reveals. The floor is neglect. Detective Jones. It's a hook rug, Detective. Ma'am? Ma'am, can you hear me? I'm a police officer. Ma'am? The woman appears to be asleep. Notating this... Notating this woman's condition will be important if this case goes to trial, Detective. Teddy, the woman, the so. Upon shaking, a skeleton key emerges from the can. Gary, the door is locked. Yikes! Apparently, I did escape. What do we have here? Detective The door's locked.
Combining the lighter's flame with the aerosol spray produces a torch. Do not try this at home. neutralizes your assailant. Detective Carey, for exceptional courage and integrity, above and beyond the call of duty in the face of felonious criminal assaults on your person and the persons of others, including an ambush by criminals using fully automatic weapons and your unwavering attention to duty in solving a series of five homicides, bringing to closure a period of open season on the good people of our community. It is my honor to present you with the department's highest award, the Medal of Valor. Congratulations.